I heard a distinguished professor from Holland when I was studying at University of Edinburgh, Huey Koss. He said, if we take a, this is literally what he said, if we take a stand on a literal interpretation of Genesis as do Morris and Whitcomb, it is very likely to make the gospel incredible to intellectuals and particularly to young people. If we say that the evolutionary scene is to be challenged on a scientific basis, we will lose respect for the gospel of salvation so we cannot do it. Hmm. That was his answer. And I think, I mean, he's a good man. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I don't agree with his point of view. But I think he would be speaking for the vast majority of those who feel you have to be a theistic evolutionist or you will make the gospel incredible to our culture, which has for whatever 150 years accepted some form of evolution. But what you're saying is that that position is not the historical position of Christianity. It's more recent. Yes, it is, it is post, I can't give an exact year, post 1750s, post 1760s, is that recent? Right, but especially post Darwin in, in oh, the yeah. 1860s. Particularly, particularly post Darwin, it was a major mm. collapse of Christian intellectuals before it. Nearly the whole church collapsed, mm. particularly the conservative theologians, you know, Shedd and very great men like Warfield and others mm. felt that you would be so out of line with what their mm -hmm. colleagues in various universities thought was proper scientific procedure that they had to make mm. some kind of common cause with it, although they remained Christian. Mm -hmm. So sure. the church did not fight Darwin. Mm -hmm. Bishop Wilberforce did, and one could name two or three others, mm -hmm. but hundreds gave in immediately. The church did not mount a resistance. Mm -hmm. The only resistance is beginning to come since the 1960s with Whitcomb and Morris. And now it's picking up tempo, which may be why some of the recent organizations to push theistic evolution have felt it necessary to rise up mm -hmm. because they see us mm -hmm. as a threat to what they think is the acceptability of the gospel in the culture. I do not put a bad motivation onto these mm -hmm. people. That I refuse to do. I just think they're mistaken in how they assess. Mm -hmm. And most of all, here's the issue. You and I will stand before God. We must not answer whether something was pragmatically helpful, but whether or not it was true. Mm -hmm.